Nicholas Nico Blombergen March 11, 1920 to September 5, 2017, was a Dutch-American physicist and Nobel laureate, recognized for his work in developing driving principles behind nonlinear optics for laser spectroscopy. During his career, he was a professor at both Harvard University and later at the University of Arizona. Blombergen shared the 1981 Nobel Prize in Physics with Arthur Schallau, along with Kai Siegbahn for his laser spectroscopy work. Topic Early life Blombergen was born in Dordrecht on March 11, 1920, where his father was a chemical engineer and executive. He had five siblings, with his brother Auk later becoming a legal scholar. In 1938, Blombergen entered the University of Utrecht to study physics. However, during World War II, the German authorities closed the university and Blombergen spent two years in hiding. Topic career Topic Graduate studies Blombergen left the war ravaged Netherlands in 1945 to pursue graduate studies at Harvard University under Professor Edward Mills Purcell. Through Purcell, Blombergen was part of the prolific academic lineage tree of J. J. Thomson, which includes many other Nobel laureates, beginning with Thomson himself Physics Nobel, 1906 and Lord Rayleigh Physics Nobel, 1904, Ernest Rutherford Chemistry Nobel 1908, Owen Richardson Physics Nobel, 1928, and finally Purcell Physics, Nobel 1952. Blombergen's other influences include John Van Vleck, Physics Nobel, 1977, and Percy Bridgman, Physics Nobel, 1946. Six weeks before his arrival, Purcell and his graduate students Torrey and Pound discovered nuclear magnetic resonance (NMR). Blombergen was hired to develop the first NMR machine. At Harvard, he attended lectures by Schwinger, Van Vleck, and Kemble. Blombergen's NMR systems are still in use currently in medicine, where they are used to examine internal organs and tissues. Blombergen's research on NMR led to an interest in masers, which were introduced in 1953. Blombergen returned to the Netherlands in 1947, and submitted his thesis Nuclear Magnetic Relaxation at the University of Leiden. This was because he had completed all the preliminary examinations in the Netherlands, and Cor Gorder of Leiden offered him a postdoctoral appointment there. He received his Ph.D. degree from Leiden in 1948, and then was a postdoc at Leiden for about a year. Topic professorship In 1949, he returned to Harvard as a junior fellow of the Society of Fellows. In 1951, he became an associate professor, he then became Gordon McKay Professor of Applied Physics in 1957, Rumford Professor of Physics in 1974, and Gerhard Gade University Professor in 1980. In 1990 he retired from Harvard, in addition, Blombergen served as a visiting professor. From 1964 to 1965, Blombergen was a visiting professor at the University of California, Berkeley. In 1996-1997, he was a visiting scientist at the College of Optical Sciences of the University of Arizona. He became a professor at Arizona in 2001. Blombergen was a member of the board of sponsors of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists and honorary editor of the Journal of Nonlinear Optical Physics and Materials. Topic laser spectroscopy by 1960 while at Harvard, he experimented with microwave spectroscopy. Blombergen had modified the maser of Charles Townes, and in 1956, Blombergen developed a crystal maser, which was more powerful than the standard gaseous version. With the advent of the laser, he participated in the development of the field of laser spectroscopy, which allows precise observations of atomic structure using lasers. Following the development of second harmonic generation by Peter Franken and others in 1961, Blombergen expanded on the study of the theoretical study of nonlinear optics, the analysis of how photons in high-intensity electromagnetic radiation interact with matter. In reflection to his work in a Dutch newspaper in 1990, Blombergen said, We took a standard textbook on optics and for each section we asked ourselves what would happen if the intensity was to become very high. We were almost certain that we were bound to encounter an entirely new type of physics within that domain. From this theoretical work, Blombergen found ways to combine two or more laser sources consisting of photons in the visible light frequency range to generate a single laser source with photons of different frequencies in the infrared and ultraviolet ranges, which extends the amount of atomic detail that can be gathered from laser spectroscopy. Topic: Awards. He was awarded the Lorentz Medal in 1978. 
He received the Bijvoet Medal of the Bijvoet Center for Biomolecular Research of Utrecht University in 2001. Blombergen shared the 1981 Nobel Prize in Physics with Arthur Schallau, along with Kai Siegbahn. The Nobel Foundation awarded Blombergen and Schallau for their contribution to the development of laser spectroscopy. Topic: <laughs> Personal life and death. Blombergen met Huberta Deliana Brink in 1948 while on vacation with his school's physics club. She was able to travel with Blombergen to the United States in 1949 on a student hospitality exchange program. He proposed to her when they arrived in the States, and were married by 1950 on return to Amsterdam. They were both naturalized as citizens of the United States in 1958. They had three children. Blombergen died on September 5, 2017, at an assisted living facility in his hometown Tucson, Arizona, of cardiorespiratory failure, at the age of 97. Topic: <laughs> Honors. Corresponding member: Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, Amsterdam, 1956. Fellow, American Academy of Arts and Sciences, 1956 Member, National Academy of Sciences, Washington, D.C., 1960 Foreign Honorary Member, Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore, 1978 Associé Atranger, Académie des Sciences, Paris, 1981 Guggenheim Fellow, 1957 Oliver Buckley Prize, American Physical Society, 1958 IEEE Morris N. Liebman Memorial Award, Institute of Radio Engineers, 1959 Stuart Ballantine Medal, Franklin Institute, Philadelphia, 1961 National Medal of Science, President of the United States of America, 1974 Lorentz Medal, Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, Amsterdam, 1978 Frederick Ives Medal, Optical Society of America, 1979 Von Humboldt Senior Scientist, 1980 Member, German Academy of Sciences Leopoldina, 1983 Member Emeritus, United States National Academy of Engineering, 1984 Topic. References Topic. External links Freeview video an interview with Nicholas Blombergen by the Vega Science Trust Nicholas Blombergen Their contribution to the development of laser spectroscopy Oral history interview transcript with Nicholas Blombergen 27 June 1983, American Institute of Physics, Niels Bohr Library and Archives.